All right, guys, I am about to teach you how to take your newborn photos at home like a pro. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I would do if I were in your home with you this morning. So, let's get started. All right, guys, first things first, I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of why I choose to turn off any artificial lighting and just focus on using natural light. So you can see from my floating lamp over here that it's kind of casting this yellowish color. Um, and it's hard to see on my phone, but if I were to try to take a photo of David with this artificial light, it's just gonna cast a weird color on his skin and some weird shadows. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip that off and then we're gonna open up the blinds. Now you see what a huge difference that has made for the way that the light is falling across the bed. It's a nice clean white light and much more even. Um, now if at any point you guys are trying to take her photos, um, David, open the blinds all the way. Like, draw them up. So, <clears throat> this is another option. Like if your room, if you, if you open the blinds and your room is still kind of dark, um, you can take the blinds all the way up, but sometimes this will make the light, here, step out for me. Sometimes this will make the light like a little too harsh. So for instance, if I were to have the baby kind of here with the light coming in on her, if the light was too harsh coming from the window, you can hang a white sheet right here. And what that'll do is that'll diffuse the light a little bit. You see how the, the draft is kind of blown out a little bit with the highlights? If you put a white sheet here, that will diffuse the light a little better um, for the baby giraffe. Um, all right, so I'm gonna walk you through some posing now. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to find your light. Um, so right now, I feel like David could be a little bit better lit. So David, I'm gonna have you scoot towards the pillows. Now, there we go. So now, Marla, can you see how like David's face is evenly lit? Um, there's nice light coming in on the baby. So, um, <clears throat> Chan, you're gonna be the one taking the photos for this one. So basically, we're gonna do a couple of different variations. So David, I'm gonna have you look down at baby. So Chan, when you're taking this, I want you to focus on what are you including in the frame? For this frame, it would be nice to get a little bit of Marla's face but mainly focusing on baby. And you see how we don't have a ton of wasted space up here and up here. So like if I were to take it from way far back here, then you're including more of the room. So it really just depends, like what are you trying to include in your shot? Do you wanna go far back and include a little bit of like the bed and the wall color and stuff? Do you wanna come in a little? Or do you really wanna come in and just barely get Marla's face and focus on baby? So these are just three different variations that you can do just with this one pose. Thanks for modeling, David. One more tip for um, when you're posing like this is you see how the baby is kind of turned in towards David as my hypothetical mom here. Um, so that's fine if you're wanting to get like just a profile shot or if you're doing a breastfeeding photo, but if you're wanting to really um, see the baby's face, you're gonna wanna rotate the baby out a little bit. So David, kind of rotate baby. Yeah, just like that. So just kind of be mindful of how you're positioning baby. Now we can see that pretty smile, those pretty eyes, and um, these little feet down here. So that's actually another good shot you could get just in this, in this same pose. So he's kind of just has a uh, baby's feet cupped in his hands, and I'll show you now how that would be another sweet shot. All right, so another variation we could do right here is, David, I'm gonna have you stand and kind of face me a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna do um, a standing pose. 
but our light is coming from here and we want the baby's face illuminated. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna, no David, you're gonna stay where you are. Um, you're just gonna switch baby to the other arm. That way, the light is coming from the window and hitting baby's face. See David, if you put the baby back in your other arm, you'll notice how the giraffe's face becomes shadowed. Right, but if you switch her over to the other side, then the light is hitting her face and she's perfectly even and evenly lit. So I'll show you how I would take this photo. All right, Marla, so for this next one, it's pretty self-explanatory and Catsby's honestly already kind of doing it for me. Um, I'm not sure where the windows are set up in your master, um, but for us, we've got one on, two on this side of the, the room. So the light is coming from this direction. Um, so if we're gonna lay baby down, cause I know you have that knotted blanket that you wanted to lay, I would probably position her um, just kind of angled towards the light like that. Um, and for this shot, I would actually focus on doing it this way, like orienting it this way instead of long way. So I'll show you how I would take this one. I you to find the spot on the bed where the light is hitting it the most. For us in our bedroom, it's my side of the bed here. Um, and I would place baby here. This would be a good spot for you to do the knotted blanket. David, take a seat in front of our French doors right here. Um, yeah, on the floor. Oh. Yeah, so you're gonna sit like with your back against the floor. So guys, this would work for like, if you had a big window here too, it doesn't have to be French doors. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have David hold the baby like this. Um, and for this, you're gonna want, maybe put like a blanket down if you've got like some uneven floor. Um, but basically this is kind of what we're focusing on here is just the parent's hands holding the baby. And you guys can switch out for this. Marla, I'm not sure how easy it is for you to get on the floor right now. Um, but you could also do a version of this, maybe seated on the bed if Chan, if you're able to stand on the bed. So the idea is just to kind of get like an aerial view of baby. But what I'm wanting to stress here is that the light source is coming from here and shining down on baby this way. This is also a really good option to have um, Ashton come and sit next to whichever parent is holding baby and to place his sweet little hands right here next to her or like on her belly or something. So the idea is just to focus on um, brother's hands, mom or dad's hands, and then just baby. All right, so next I'm gonna show you how I would photograph um, Ezra's nursery. So again, we've got this weird, weird light. So you can see what a huge difference that made. I took the blinds all the way up because we're wanting to get some nice diffused light on the rocking chair. So that way, Chan, you can take a seat here and you can hold baby in this arm. Perfect. So this is kind of what that rocking chair shot would look like. You can see the lights coming in from the window hitting that baby's face just perfectly. And you could do a zoomed out one. You could go in a little bit. You could go up a little bit and have mom lean your face in. Well, you can imagine if he didn't have a hat on, that would be really sweet. Um, so that's what that would look like with a parent holding. And this would be um, a good opportunity to have Ashton come in too. 
He could come in and stand right here, place his sweet little hands on the edge of the chair, maybe even touch baby sister. Um, and you could even have him crawl up in the rocking chair with mom or dad. Um, Marla, Jan, I know you guys are gonna have to kind of swap, swap out taking the shot. Um, but you could picture Ashton would be really cute sitting right here too. So I would do a couple of variations. I'd zoom way out, maybe do this orientation for a few, and then zoom in and do a few. So it's all about variation. And then something I also like to focus on when I'm, fo when I'm photographing a lifestyle newborn session is just taking little details of the room. Um, so here I might do a shot of mom. So yeah, this is what I would call an establishing shot. So this is a shot that kind of shows the environment that we're shooting in. So you can see I'm not like gonna be right up on mom and baby. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit because we're wanting to get just more of an idea of where we're at, the space that we're in. So um, as you can see, David's kind of turned too far away from me right now. David, I'm gonna have you take a step to the right of the crib, like step forward right there, perfect. And then rotate towards the hutch a little bit. Perfect, now we can see more of mom's face, more of baby's profile. And David, what you can do now is you can rotate baby towards me a little. So then we can see the front of baby's face a little more. Perfect. So you could snap this photo two different ways and I'll show you how. All right, last but not least, Marla, I know that you bought that sweet little basket um, to photograph baby in, and I'm gonna show you how I would approach that. Um, basically, we're gonna want to get up above baby. So I'm not sure if you have like a step stool, you know, that you use like in the pantry or something, but the idea is we're gonna wanna lay everything out perfectly flat on the floor and then take an aerial view of baby. So I'll show you how I would set that up. Hey, Marla, I know that your basket doesn't have this handle on it like mine does. Um, so just kind of picture it that way. Um, now you can see right now the, the giraffe is lit a little bit harshly. Like you see how we're losing detail in our swaddle here? That's because we have like just straight light coming in. Um, so again, what you can do is you could either lower the blinds or tack up a white sheet or curtain to diffuse the light a little bit, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. All right, so I um, put the blinds back down. They're still open, but they're diffusing the light a little bit. And you can see giraffe is lit much more evenly now. It's not too harsh. Um, so basically, we're setting this up from an aerial view. So the way that I would do this is I, was li I would literally stand in this chair and um, photograph down. All right, so as far as which lens to use, Marla, thanks for sending over the lenses that you have. That's really helpful. I probably wouldn't even fool with the 70 to 300. Don't think it's necessary for right now. Um, if I was gonna come today, I was gonna use a 50 millimeter and a 35 millimeter. And since you have the 18 to 55, that's gonna be the perfect one to use. Um, so I always, for portraits, I like to stay within the range of 35 millimeters to like 50 millimeters because that is what looks most realistic to the eye. So <clears throat> I would hang around 35 millimeters to 50 millimeters for taking all of your shots. You could zoom it out even a little bit wider um, for like those establishing shots that we were talking about where you need to get more of the room. That's why I love zoom lenses. Like there's just so much versatility. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Um, if there's anything else you can think of that you want to ask me, please let me know. Um, I'm sorry we're having to do a video like this, but um, hopefully this will help you, help give you some good tips on 
how to take some really sweet newborn photos of your sweet baby girl at home. Um, sorry about the circumstances, guys, and I look forward to doing a session with you in the fall. Love you. Congratulations.